Hello, everyone. Welcome to our weekly SUMO meeting. Um, today, we will probably have a short meeting, um, but we're happy to have one. So first thing, we're going to start with the previous act, uh, action items from last week. Um, so David or Michael, you have to be the unicorn in the next uh, meeting. Um, how is that resolved? I think if David's not here, it makes you the unicorn, Michael. Yeah, I see David planned on um, figuring out a way <laughs> to not be the unicorn. So I, I, I have something. Okay, okay. So everyone, uh, watch out for Michael's unicorn appearance today on Sumo. Do not miss out. Uh, perfect, Michael. We're looking forward to that to the end of the meeting. Um, oh, that's way too much quickly. hype. That's way too much hype. <laughs> well, I'm the MC, so I get to do those things today. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Everybody, send feedback to Kadir. Um, if you have anything related to the new KPI dashboard, have you done so? Kadir's not here, but um, he's been looking at that for a while now. Uh, I guess you've all done it. And then Madalena and Kadir to check why there's a big drop in Army of Awesome, con uh, Army of awesome contributors. Madalena, you have any um, updates on that? Yeah, so actually the drop happened uh, after a, a big, a big, big boom uh, yeah. during the, the month of April. And then we had the drop during May uh, and now it's picking back up. So what happened was that we had a few events um, in, in April, so that increased uh, the number of people who are trying Army of Awesome a lot. Um, and everybody was super exciting, excited and tweeting a lot and all that. And then in May, they kind of slowed down. Uh, there are actually a couple of reasons for that slowdown. There also, it happened that a few people had duplicate accounts that oh. then they closed. As in, they, they opened like a new account just to try the Army of Awesome. Mm -hmm. So they were like present with two accounts and then they closed it. So this was also like part of the, the huge jump. Um, so that was basically it, but we're again, so it was like a trend downward trend, but now we're like in June, we're back, back up to like 120, I think right now. So I think it's, it's pretty no, normal, nothing to, to, to worry, worry about. about. Yeah, yeah I, I think you're right. I think that, you know, in general, whenever we have a sumo events or, you know, events in general and people talk about Army of Awesome, there's these peaks. So maybe we should, yeah. you know, try to think, oh, okay, there's a peak. So every every time we know there's a peak, there's going to be, you know, it's going to eventually come down because uh, it has to do with events. Uh, but I mean, still, there's a lot of people doing great things on Army of Awesome, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's great. And I'm like, I'm super excited because I know, I mean, in the beginning, people are super excited about it. And then, of course, you tend to, to slow down after you just tweet like 100 tweets and then you're like, OK, maybe I should take a break. But I mean, people are still doing it and we have quite a few contributors that have been doing it for a long, long time. So that's absolutely great. And I really want to th thank these people for right. making an effort to do this um, awesome thing, uh, which is actually fun. And plus, I'm super happy to see that the tweets that we're getting are not that that uh, let's say offensive anymore. <laughs> so we used to have like really crazy tweets, and now that, that's changing. Great. So yeah, that's better. Michael. Hey, quick thought. Maybe this. I don't know. Um, that uh, that thing that you said. This was surprising to me. The idea that so people started a new account for this, and so that accounted for part of that you know boom of people because now they're using two accounts. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which made me think of, I, cause I don't know, maybe it says on the dashboard, how are we, um, measuring users? It's the number, um, how, how many tweets do you have to do before you get counted as a army of awesome contributor? <laughs> oh, just one. So you can just, you can also be like a spammer and you have like one tweet and go, and then you are listed there. Right. I wonder how much of a difference, maybe it's not important at all, maybe that just, this is what occurred to me, like, what if we made that two instead of one, and uh, I don't know, would that be helpful or not, but no, it's, it's I was thinking that as you, were, yeah. as you were saying it. Yeah, that could be a thought, maybe we want to, to you know, think of, 
like the, the real <coughs> army of awesome contributors because this would as i said they can be spammers they could be just people who just you know come up on this like army of awesome thing and they try it on once and then they go um so yeah that that could be something we to think about it, it could okay. it could be just like in all of our things right we have like mm -hmm. we track numbers of people who do things and so there's lots of people who do things one time and then there's like yeah. somewhere there's like the cutoff between like the people who are just checking something right. out or they make a casual hey i saw this one thing and i made a correction to an article and then there's the people mm -hmm. who do it like all the time regularly you know yeah and maybe yeah. that's a something to we could do in those like how we do 72 hours, 24 hours on like questions answered or something. I wonder if that's something to investigate. I don't know how much time that takes to develop, but. No, that, that's actually that's actually a pretty great point. Um, I think that with Army of Awesome, you didn't do it because Army of Awesome is pretty straightforward. Um, uh, but with the other um, areas of Sumo, we have the sort of levels. Yeah. yeah. So we know, you know, we know when people are very engaged. Uh, this is not part of the KPI dashboard. Um, this is something that we're looking into uh, integrating maybe in what we call the community hub, which is something mm -hmm. that will come soon. <laughs> but yeah, and absolutely they, great points. Yeah, and I think that the, the reason why we didn't this, do this with Army of Awesome before it was that when we started our Army of Awesome, actually when Kadir and um, William started it, it was basically just something for people that like a point of entry to sumo just for people to you know play a bit to have some fun so it wasn't really considered like a you know super big contribution or like super big thing it was mainly for people to you know just start getting to know sumo and getting used to the whole <coughs> thing so i mean like the the whole you know like uh, metrics and whatever weren't very important and i think that they are it's just a thing to to for people to see what Sumo is all about, basically. Right. Great. Um, so yeah, definitely good points. We will have to address that. Um, um, any any more questions? Otherwise, I will. Okay. Um, I I see that Kadir and Ricky aren't here, and there aren't any Sumo development updates. Or you ex updates, um, so we'll wait for next week. Or does any one of you know a little bit more on this? <laughs> I'm still hundreds <laughs> of bug emails to read, so I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, okay, Michael, why don't you give us like a quick summary <laughs> of the bugs <laughs> from the weekend? <laughs> no, no, no. It, uh, Roland looked like if you could know, right? <laughs> No, 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 he doesn't. Anyway, no problem. Uh, round table. We don't have many things on the round table. People are getting in the summer mode here. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Firefox for desktop. Uh, Tyler or Matt, uh, one of you. I think it's Matt this time, right? I think Tyler's going to take it, actually. Oh, OK. <laughs> yep, Firefox for desktop is smooth. Um, 21 we don't we don't have to have chemps before it's been the smoothest release since probably firefox 12 um so good job everybody with that cool. uh we're still monitoring the forums no hot topic items but we're gearing up for firefox 22 beta now good 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 i i think you, i mean to tell you the truth guys the last updates on Firefox for desktop that I've heard from you, uh, they're always like, no problem at all. Like, it seems to be that we're like very smooth, right? Yeah, I mean, the last couple of releases have been uh, great. So we're hoping this is a, a trend that will continue. Okay, cool. We, we hope that that goes so well. That's very good. That's very good news when you don't have to say a lot of things. Perfect. Um, so if we don't have any questions, because everything looks well, Let's go to Firefox for Android. Roland, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, well, it's like desktop. We've had a very smooth release, as Tyler can agree or confirm. Um, and there's not much to document in 21 or 22. So all the big stuff is coming in 23 and 24. So yeah, pretty quiet out there. OK, we, we like quiet. <laughs> But of course, we would, as Tyler would, I'm sure, it's, uh, agree, we should test beta, 22 beta, if we could, please. 
we like quiet on the problem side, we like loud on the party side, Rona. That's right. Loud on the unicorns. Exactly. Yeah, but let's let's not make it quiet the quiet before the storm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, you know, we're like uh, as David says, we're like fire and rescue. Right. So <laughs> exactly. Happens, so there's a fire, we do our best. Educate. We document. are on fire while we rescue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's go to Firefox OS. Michelle is near. Um, Ralph, can you take that for Michelle? Yeah. Um, so today I'm, I'm supposed to be in uh, in Spain, giving some some training to the Telefonica folks. Um, but unfortunately, I'm uh, I'm stuck in the US right now. Uh, How are you? So, <laughs> but uh, no no new no big updates. Um, I'm. I'll try to figure out. I'll try to. I'll be on standby for today's flight. Uh, there were some delays from from Denver to Newark yesterday, and then made me miss the Madrid flight. Um, but I'll see. So, oh, but okay, no, but you're still going. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, no, perfect. no big updates. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see. We have the now it's uh, Thunderbird. Roland, do you have something to tell us about yes. Thunderbird? Well, we need to test the beta Thunderbird. We keep rolling changes in, and we will have our next general release for Thunderbird 24. But beta 22 is out. I will put a link in the Etherpad. We would love everyone to test it um, and see if there's any um, gotchas. And we're having a test day, June 12th. I'll put a link okay. in the test day, June 12th. So please help out. All you need to do is test and file bug, or even just test. And hang out on the channel and report stuff. Okay, Thank you. cool, 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 cool. Perfect. That sounds that sounds good. So everyone, go and test uh, Thunderbird if you're not doing it now. If you want to, um, metrics. I was just watching our KPI dashboard. Um, it all seems good to me. Madlina just talked about the Army of Awesome um, changes. Um, I think that things look pretty much good. What do you think, guys? Anyone? Anything to? Looks like we're under control. I think everything looks well. Yeah, it looks pretty we're, good. Um, we're missing our KPI commenter, or Kadir always takes that role, right? <laughs> yeah. I noticed that our um, questions are back down to like levels they were before the lowest levels this whole year. Like we had, we had been going. Why are questions so high? For like January, February, March, April, right? And I guess, like Matt was saying, we're having a nice, smooth release. Questions are way back down. You can see That's great. It's, it's really visual on the on the questions dash, you know, KPI thing there. Yeah, and I think we we also need to start expecting a slowdown in everything because summer is coming, and normally during the summer summer months it's quieter. Uh, than normal in terms of both like questions and contributions and everything. Yep. So, okay, just, so. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm happy that there are no questions. I mean, not a lot of them. I'm super happy. Yeah, yeah we like quiet. <laughs> we like quiet. Quiet is good. Good, 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 good. So, Madalina, um, any community updates? Um, uh, nothing super exciting i have some stuff for the support forum part but that's like lower down in the discussion okay so i i just have a little update i know i, I talk a lot about this but last week we had yet another uh, buddy um, program seems to be going well uh, we're now trying to find ways to organize it better because we get a lot of new people and the buddies are, are helping a lot we have around five buddies um, so, so that's really cool. Um, if you see anyone, you know, looking for help in any thread or on IRC and uh, you want to help them, you know, you can uh, send them to one of the buddies uh, or uh, tell me and we will get them a, new, a buddy to, to start working with them. So that's pretty much um, on the buddy front. Yeah, actually, I remember something. Um, for everybody who's listening, if every, anybody knows 
people who can speak Spanish or Polish or Greek and want to get involved in the Facebook project. Uh, we're trying to help people on Facebook. Please let me know um, because we're posting stuff in these languages and we're kind of low on uh, people to <laughs> to actually reply to things. So if you know any any guys that would like to get involved, let us, let, let us know. It's actually a lot of fun um, and the project is just starting, so it would be like a lot of things to do. Oh, great, great, great. Uh, Madalena, maybe you can put that also on the etherpad so people Yeah, can I'll put it, it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, I don't have many updates on the uh, localization front. Um, I was traveling a little bit and I need to go back to normal mode, um, but I will update you um, as soon as possible. Um, Michael, knowledge base, tell us something about the knowledge base. Well, we here, don't know. here's your update for <laughs> localization is that there are there's no <laughs> updates done yet for Firefox 22. So um, I'll uh, make sure that those get done this week and ready for localization. So that will be coming by the end of the week. Okay. Um, I, I'm just writing it down so people okay. know. Perfect. Great. Um, support for Madalena, you said you had something. Yes, so two things. First of all, we have a new Sumo Day this Thursday. Yay. And then the second thing is that hey. together with the Sumo Good Day, morning. we have a Sumo Day. Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? Sorry, sorry. I'll be fine. <laughs> No worries. So I was saying that besides the, the Sumo Day, we also have the Sumo Triage Day, which is great. So our dear list Henry is organizing this Bugs Triage Day. So we're going to triage bugs related to Sumo. Uh, I know that there are a lot of people interested in doing that. So please come along this Thursday. Liz will probably send all the details a bit later. Um, yes, Michael? Triaging bugs related to Sumo, like bugs with the Sumo platform or, or Firefox bugs? What are we talking about? Support bugs. Like with Kitsune, or like with the website? Any kind of bugs. Okay. <laughs> yes, Tyler. Yeah, Michael, the main focus is going to be um, going through the whole backlog of um, Kitsune bugs. Um, so this is something Kadir and... Uh, uh, Liz Henry, Madalena, and I had all coordinated on. So basically, we're going to go look at all the old Kitsune bugs from before the redesign, uh, make sure that they're um, still valid, and go through those. Well, you can also focus on Firefox bugs that are support issues, but Kitsune is going to be the main focus. Gotcha. Okay, cool. That, that's, um, really, that's really amazing because, you know, it's like a house cleaning, right? Oh, exactly. I'm sorry. One other question, so that I can put this in the "What's Up with Sumo" notes. Where is there information about this somewhere that I can point to? Uh, I'm not sure. I need to to check if Liz has anything. She probably does, uh, but I'll need to check with her first because I don't know where it is. But I'll send you a link. Right. It's it's a good it. point that that we post that soon on the forums as soon as, as, soon as you have some information, just to to build yeah. up some excitement mm -hmm. so that people know what to you do know, grab some time yeah. on Thursday yeah definitely. Right. yep cool but this sounds like a really really cool thing to do um so thanks yeah both Tyler questions and, and bugs so everything if you're bored with one do the other it's great yeah and I, I heard there's a lot of rain in some parts of the world so <laughs> stay home and trash bugs <laughs> that's the fun thing to do <laughs> Cool. Uh, so let me see support forum. Oh, we have now the contributor of the week. So we have three nominations here. We have Amit, we have Jaffer, and we have Jay, Jaya Kumar. Um, anyone has any, any preference here? Anyone wants to vote for someone uh, in, in particular? I think that we should, we should add always like why we're nominating them so it makes it easier. Uh, the process. Where are you yeah, seeing this? Be good. Sorry. I don't. I uh, I don't see those names anywhere. I see different ones. Oh wait. Oh, are we on the week? Are we on the same Etherpad? Um, I'm on this Etherpad. Uh, I'm on June third Etherpad. But you're not in that Etherpad. 
Oh, I'm on the wrong ether pad. You're right. What the heck? But half the team is on this ether pad. Why are you on the wrong, the wrong ether Roland ether and I. Which, you know, because by the you way, know we why? Have the same personality type. Why? It was it was linked on the wiki page that lists all the ether pads. Yeah. Okay, I, I got the link from your What's Up With Sumo update. Ah. Uh, okay, am sorry. I, am, I the wrong, am I in the wrong ether pad or am I in the right ether pad? <laughs> so which one is the right one? It's the one, it's this, yeah, I was on the wrong ether pad. This here, I'll put it in pound sumo. That's the right Roland, ether pad. Roland, I think we're, we're, we are the only ones on the right ether pad. It's luck. It's yes. luck. <laughs> Wow, we didn't know notice until now because there was there wasn't really anything written on the darn thing to begin with. I was like, why isn't anyone writing their updates in this Etherpad? <laughs> <laughs> I was the other one was just like you know, crammed it in at the last minute. That's what I thought. Wow. Okay, so yeah, sorry for the confusion. Um, so what what names? So you had an old Etherpad, Michael? Yeah, yeah I, I'll, I'll figure it out. The, I linked the wrong okay, etherpad okay. somewhere. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. It doesn't I matter. I mean, using the etherpad that the link that follows Michael's normal convention, whether whether it's this one or the other one, I'm not sure. Okay, but now, so we have three contributors. Um, uh, I know that they're they're very active in localization. Um, I personally want to nominate. Jaya Coomers because he's been he's been doing a lot of, of great uh, things you know he has joined us a couple of times on on the sumo meeting uh, he's active on the KB front uh, he's also a very active uh, buddy I know that Jeffrey and Amit are also doing great things they're also buddies so um, it's a hard pick uh, I think we can have them nominated <laughs> Madlina what do you say pick. yeah it's very hard because I Maybe mean, we shouldn't pick. Maybe we just have the contributors of the week. Yes, I think Go that's on. better. Because everybody's great. I mean, Jay has been doing a lot of great things, both on the forum and in the body program, and so did Amit. So, uh, if, I yeah. think they all deserve. So let's I, you know, let, let's just have the contributors of the week. I think that that's amazing. Okay. And if you get if you get nominated by someone, I mean, that's reason enough to be part of our contributors of the week. So Amit, Jeffer, and Jay, you know, thank you so much for all your work. You are the contributors of this week. Fantastic. Well done. And for everyone watching, uh, please, you know, just send us the contributors of this week. Um, if you can include what they've done, um, that's awesome because then we can tell everyone, you know, how amazing things are. But that's, that's wonderful. Very well. Um, so decisions and action items, um, I think that Madalina will follow up with the um, triage day information. Mm -hmm. Let me put it down. Um, yes, and I think that that's, that's, that was the main uh, action item, right? Yep. Yeah. And then, and that, if, do you have any questions? you want to mention anything else? Because otherwise, Michael, get ready. Cause Oh, all right, hold on. <laughs> Can I be the next, the next unicorn? Is it active? <laughs> Get the dust off. <laughs> okay. All right, we're ready? Yeah. Always so ready. These guys are, actually, they're a little bit dusty. But here's oh! Oh, no. Spock. Oh, no. Oh. And Kirk. <laughs> and McCoy. Oh god. Great. And they're always they're always sitting back I can't do it. Back there on top of that computer. Yeah. Back there. Um Okay. Do and they talk to each other? No, they don't. Kirk <laughs> Kirk used to have a phaser. He lost it somewhere. But these guys have like tricorders and stuff. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. Um, and they're all poseable and bendable. So, but the story behind these is, so, um, well, uh, so Rebecca, my wife bought these for me. Um, so I love Star Trek, but I especially love the original series, Star Trek, because the next generation, 
not that I don't like it, but that came out when I was an adult. When I was a kid, this was <laughs> this was it. There was only these guys, and um, I I I got these. So about nine years ago, I did this theater piece that um, that was all very Star Trek related. I wore a Star Trek uniform for the show. It was sort of it was described as a tu part tutorial, part like stand up thing, but it was about how I how I would like to live forever by becoming software. But you can't just be software because you know someone will unplug the computer or it'll crash or something. So we need to we need a plan beyond that, right? So it involved all kinds of of um, you know, nice descriptions of Star Trek and even later stuff like the hollow deck and, and everything and and how right. I was how this will work. But anyway, that's these guys sitting on my computer back there that you see all the time. <laughs> that's amazing. I I, love that. I, I I was just wondering how many of you have any Star Trek stuff like in your place? And why don't we ask the community? We should, you know, we should post a thread on the forum. Like, how many of you have like Star Trek stuff? Star Trek stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Great. Well, probably, probably everyone loves Star Trek. Who doesn't yeah, love Star Trek? Yeah, but it really depends on the, the, on the generation. Like That's okay. But they'll get it eventually. Maybe. I'm, I'm the new generation type of person. Yeah. Captain Picard. That was my thing. I was 13. Right. See, I like those guys. They're just not my favorite. Oh, God. That's the beauty of Star Trek. I see the fronts here. For every generation. <laughs> right. Right. It's eternal. Right, right, right. Okay. That, that's wonderful. So I think we should definitely dedicate a post, you know, a forum thread for Star Trek. Okay. And we should all have all these discussions about, you know, like Picard Who's or the Kirk. best char character? <laughs> Probably Spock wins them all. I don't know. <laughs> what's this guy data someone does oh like now see now here we'll go now i mean <laughs> data and spot okay, guys. please come on <laughs> i don't think it's a contest you and i need to have a talk <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm just suggesting that we take this conversation kirk against picard data and spock we just put them out there in the, in the form and we'll see where that goes right that's okay. That's an action item. Actually, <laughs> start, start a Star Trek forum thread. All right. Okay. Wonderful. I like. I like this. Oh, Eva, we're just um, we're just talking about Star Trek and wrapping up. This was a pretty fast meeting. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a fan of a Star Trek, so it's all good. <gasps> Boo. What? Boo. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a too long. I'm sorry. Iba, how was uh, Portland? I'm moving to Portland. It's, <laughs> it's, it, it's better than, than the promised land. Great. Iba, do you have any updates? Um, any updates for, you know, regarding anything? Uh, not really. I mean, I... I ended up catching up last week, the very last minute. So hopefully this week we'll, I will generate a lot of updates. Perfect. <laughs> That's great. Um, so yeah, we just uh, went through everything. It was a, a you know a, a short but but very fun meeting, I would say. And we uh, one of the action items, uh, Eli, uh, is to what about time. Star Wars? So, yeah, we just well, Michael just shared all his. Star Trek. Afterwards, afterwards, we should so we should start talking bad about J. A. Abrams before even seeing the results because <laughs> we know that it's going to be bad. No, but but you know this this conversation is all about you know Picard, Kirk, Data. It, um, it can't be worse than one, two, and three though, Ebay. <laughs> I mean, we I, we'll we'll talk about it in, in a couple of years' time. J Jar Jar Binks, could they possibly do something worse than Jar Jar Binks? I'm I'm sure that they could think something up. It could be the main character. I guess. <laughs> They're gonna bring him back. 
In the form of a mist. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gunkins are immortal, and uh, so he comes back in episode seven. <laughs> Yeah. Well, n next time we're going to have uh, meeting updates in Klingon. How about that? <laughs> awesome. Well, we Klingon. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure someone does. I mean, <laughs> I, I will learn. learn. It, I mean, it cannot be that hard by next week. Perfect. So, yeah, that's, 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 um, yeah, this is nice to have action item learn Klingon for next week's meeting. Well, if we're yes. going to do one in Klingon, we also have to do one in Dothraki. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's another discussion. Let's not go there. No spoilers, please. I... And then I will start with Battlestar Galactica, and then we will go down the train. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Nerd Sounds alert. good. Sounds like we have Nerd a plan for a Halloween party. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Um, it's been a great meeting. I'm going to give you 25 minutes of your days back, of your day back. Um, enjoy. Thanks for coming um, and for having fun. And uh, see you in the forum. Leave long and <laughs> Oh, I got to get this in. Bye. 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 <laughs>